straddled multiple roles, administrative, <coughs> ambassadorial, <coughs> as well as gubernatorial, with equal elite and class. His effort in nurturing the Sir Gangaram Hospital praiseworthy and is a fitting tribute to another great Indian, Sir Gangaram. Therefore, I will give a lay person's view. Most of you here are doctors, so I don't have the expertise or the courage to speak to you in anything other than as a lay person. Therefore, I will give a layperson's view on the health care challenges for India. I will also speak on how we can overcome some of these challenges and provide inclusive access to basic health care for all citizens of this country. I will also status of health care in India. Since independence, India has made commendable progress in health care. We have more than halved the maternal mortality from 750 per 100,000 live births to 301. We have reduced the number of malarial cases from over 75 million to less than 2 million per year today. We have increased the number of doctors by ninefold with over 32,000 doctors passing out today as a gain about 3,500 in the 1950s. We have increased the life expectancy of an average Indian from 32 years to 65 years. These are wonderful achievements, there is no doubt. And I think every doctor in this room and on the diet deserve our gratitude for this wonderful achievement. However, we have a lot of catch-up to do when compared with other developing nations, and of course, developed nations. We are a nation of 1.1 billion people, and we are home to 20% of the world's under 24 year olds. However, only 250 to 300 billion of us can afford any modern health services. India has only 1.5 beds per 1,000 people. This figure is lower than the average of 3.5 four to four in developing nations and four to eight beds per thousand people in developed countries. According to the latest statistics published by the World Health Organization, India's spend on health care has decreased from 4.4 percent of the GDP in the year 2000 to 4.1 percent in the year 2007, a period when our population